They call me Nubian Divine because I am a divine new being. They say that energy never dies, but it only transforms. I am my ancestors' representative on this plane of existence, and I plan on representing. My reason for being is to paint a better picture. A better picture of life, a better picture of love, a better picture of me. My reason for being is to help represent my ancestors, creators, and guides during this plane of existence that it will tickle the hearts of mankind in such a beautiful way. Heaven I'm about to see real Watch me as I ever taste a mention Oh soul Vibrate on Take me to the spaces that I ponder In my mind I'm here no longer wonder What a road But I'm here We
And I'm so excited because I'm sending right along with you. And I'm so happy because we are all so worthy of greatness. And so much has been happening in each and every one of our lives. And I know you guys have so many questions, and so have I. Like, oh, my goodness, I can't even explain what's been going on. So I'm going to do my best, okay? So, you know, don't take my word for it. As I always tell you, do your own research because you're responsible for your own soul on this planetary existence. So don't count on me. If a Nubian told me, you got to do your own research because you're responsible for yourself. Know thyself, okay? So let's start with what is ascension. Ascension is pretty much, it is a process, it's the signs, it's the symptoms associated with, or it's symptoms that are occurring on a planetary level. Um, A lot of people are tone deaf or tune deaf, like they have iTunes, but they're not in tone, which means that they won't tone out or tune out all the noise and the chaos of this world to be in tone with all the vibrational harmonic music and tones of this world. For example, even if you turn into a radio station or tune into a radio station, you still have to tune the station right to listen to the tone to be at the right vibrational harmonic feeling of that that vibration just to get the radio station right. So we have to tone all the things of this world into one divine experience for ourselves. And remember when I say this, everyone's ascension is different. So don't look at someone else and say, well, their experience is different or mine is different because we're all different bodies, we're all different beings, we all have our own different experiences, okay? So just remember that first, okay? Um, Let's see. Um, Ascension. Ascension is the acceleration of vibrational energy. It's also an expansion of awareness. It's where we're in creation and the shift in consciousness. So our conscious experience is shifting on this plane of existence. We're all coming into a greater awareness. As I know that we all deserve the right to see. All of our eyes deserve to be open right now. And we all deserve not to be hidden from any type of knowledge whatsoever. So open up those pineal glands. Don't block them. Open up your third eye. And know that that's what that use is for. That's what that muscle is for. Use that. And we're raising a vibrational state of being, which we're going to a whole new level of consciousness. Like they say, you hear a lot of um, channels that are talking about the earth is splitting. Well, it's not necessarily splitting. We're ascending right now. And because we're ascending, you guys have to be in full completion awareness of self. And how do you know you're in awareness of self? You have to go within. And going within consists of a lot of things, and everyone's experience is different. So don't look at someone else or don't worry about someone else and, and someone saying, oh, you're not ascending because you got an attitude or you're tripping or something's wrong with you. Trust me, beloved, when I say this, if you're ascending right now and someone is in judgment of you, know that they're descending because they're looking down at you, making judgment of you, and whatever the case may be, just to even notice that. Don't pay attention to them at all. Just continue to go with those that are ascending, that are going to hold new vibrational heights as we're all going up higher to Mount Kilimanjaro. We're all literally looking up and we're going further, 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 further past that. And trust me when I say that, that's when we're all turning on our Merkabas. We're all turning on our whole vibrational body shift just to get ourselves prepared for ascension. And what I mean by preparation is, go back to what I just said a second earlier, we may be feeling really uncomfortable, like people may be judging you because they may be saying, well, you have an attitude, or you're not ascending because, you know, something's wrong with you, or you're shifting, or uh, an example of that could be, you could be having an attitude, or you could be having a bad day, or you may feel it's a bad day, but don't feel it like a bad day, don't take it as if it's a bad day, take it as if Those are old ways and old patterns falling off of you because, trust me, as we go higher, it's going to get uncomfortable for all of us. So I don't care who out there is saying anything whatsoever. Trust me, if they're pointing the finger at you, they have ten more, nine more, whatever the number is, fingers pointed back at them. But you don't worry about that, beloved, because you have to know that you are not only worthy of greatness, but as you ascend higher, remember, there's only a divine elect of us. There's eight billion people plus. That number, I don't even know about that number, but there's 8 billion people plus on this planet right now, right? 
And because there is that many people or beings on this planet, you have to know that you've been sent here for a divine reason. And everyone's path, everyone's life, everyone's reason is different. So don't let someone's definition define you and put you in a box and say, well, you're not ascending or you're not worthy of it. Because you are, everyone is worthy of ascension. Remember, there is no really such thing as one race. I mean, for example, actually there is. There, there really is only one race. Let me rephrase that. There's only one race. There's the human race. Like I always tell everyone in the last shows, how can you copyright, edit, trademark the, the word of God? And would God only make a way for the Christians or the Muslims or the Buddhists or the Jehovah, Jehovah Witness? The same exact thing applies to color. Would he only make one path for the blacks, the Jews, the Asians, the Puerto Ricans, the Hispanics? I mean, we all have to get off of that. Those are all distractions. So I, I, my heart goes out to all the family, all the members, everyone who's taken part in the Ferguson incident. I sympathize for you and honor it, and, and my gratitude and my prayers are with you because I am definitely there to help you uplift the vibration as to what's happening on this planet right now. But I do want those of us to be aware and to recognize that those are also distraction techniques as well. They're distracting us from looking within. If you're busy looking at what happened last week and so much police brutality, we we have to look at police brutality. There's so many postings of police brutality so much that we're actually helping them implement police brutality. If we know that we're on a, a plane of divine ascension, what if the whole entire world just went into postings of love and light and ascension? And I, I, I honestly know that the police brutality would disappear, okay? So ascension is where changes are according on all levels of being. So wherever you are within your own divine mind, your own mindset, so if you're caught up in what's happening on the news, on Fox, on television, or Facebook, or YouTube, it's where your mind is at. It's it's like I just told someone earlier this week. It comes from out of your own spirit. So we're not living in the 1950s anymore. So if you walk into the library, you're not only going to walk into that library. Before you get to the library, you're going to go there with a purpose and say, okay, my spirit told me I need to look for this book, and I have to research further about that book. That's the same thing within your own, beloved. Your spirit is telling you what to do right now. Your spirit is showing you what to look for right now, and if your spirit is all in doom and gloom, then that's the reality and the conscious co-creation in which you're going to be creating for yourself. So be mindful of that. If your spirit is on ascension, divinity, love, and peace, that's what you're going to get. So know that you are worthy of just that, okay? Also, we're in a completely natural, universal, evolutionary process. So believe me when I say ascension has everything to do with natural ascension, okay? Some of the symptoms that we experience on this planet of resistance, especially during ascension, can be physical pains in the body. Um, you can, like, physical, mental, emotional, and there's a spiritual level. The physical level could be, like, different pains in the body, or you could have nausea, or you could have headaches, or there's so many lists of ascensions. As a matter of fact, let me go to this page right now. I really like it. Let me give a shout-out to who made this page, ascensionsymptoms.com, and these are some of the symptoms that you will experience. And these are not all that have to do with ascension, okay? So if some of you are experiencing these symptoms, then I do recommend that you make sure it's about ascension because if your diet is not proper, then you may have to consult a doctor, okay, regarding some of these symptoms that you're having, okay? And that's um, stomach and digestive issues. You can have a loss of appetite, um, periods of unexplained nausea, sudden changes in body temperature, increased sensitivity or intolerance to heat or cold, abnormal and or cold in certain body parts. You can have cold or flu-like symptoms. Um, You can have headaches, um, head pressure. I myself, I had blurred vision. My vision kept getting really blurry. And I know I don't have any eye problems at all. Matter of fact, my vision is 2015, which is way better than 2020. Um, You can have increase in um, sensitivity of smell, like smell can really bother you. 
Um, you can be agitated by just any chaos or just filth around you. You may want it really extra clean. Um, changes in your hearing. You can be sensitive to sound, you know, for example. So those are some of the things. You guys go to the website. You can look at it again. It's um, ascensionsymptoms.com, okay? So ascension is pretty much a system of rebooting. It's being tuned up, or in this case, you're toning in to the vibrational tones and the frequencies and the harmonic vibrations of this hour, okay? You're being upgraded, okay? And you're also, you're falling away from old patterns. So keep that in mind because we may find, a lot of us may find ourselves falling away from old patterns, even to the point of when we may fall away from people or situations that no longer serve us. Um, and what I mean by no longer serve us, let me give you a, a, a good example. Um, one time, I'm here in Chicago right now. One time, um, a friend of mine and I, we met this guy at the House of Culture, and he made a statement, and the statement was, remember, those, there will be those that started with you that will not end up with you. And as I went along uh, along my path, there were people that started with me, but they didn't end up with me. And now that rings volume more than ever. Like you guys will have, you have no clue just who's being used in this hour. You have no clue if you're being used in this hour. That's why I always tell people, be careful what you do, especially in the public eye, because you never know who you're representing. You never know who you're influencing. You know, a lot of us like to talk about ascension or unity or, um, you know, get away from old patterns like eating meat, um, try to be on a live food diet, um, things of that nature. But if you're just talking that and then someone sees you in public but you're chilling out at McDonald's or you're chilling out with a big porterhouse steak in your hand, then you can influence a whole line of people and really hurt their soul, hurt their spirit. They may not understand that. So be wise and be responsible for what it is and who it is that you're influenced, okay? Let's see. Ascension experience is different for everyone, okay? So remember that. Everyone's ascension experience is different. And the reason I say that it's different is because we all have our own life path. So if someone is, is looking at you, and they're judging you, or you're even looking at someone else, and you're trying to judge yourself based off of their own experience and their path. Remember, beloved, I always tell you, we all have our own divine gifts within within us. We're all here for our own divine reason and purpose. So if that's the case, then you cannot base your life and your path off of someone else. You have to go within and see what it is you're here for. Um, let's see. Symptoms vary according to one's individual degree of, of awareness. Okay, that's personal vibration, spiritual practice, individual purpose on the planet. And that goes back to what I was saying about what are you here for? What are you here to do? What are you here to manifest? And it's also karmatic time right now to where there's a lot of things that are coming back on people on karma. So even though it may not seem like it's something that you did immediately, there's something that you did in a past lifetime. There's something that you're doing that you did right now or immediate, but it's all coming back to us. All the good that we put out there, we planted the seeds, we planted the crop, the crop. Now it's harvest time for us to re- reap the benefits of that, and that has a lot to do with our ascension or descension. Okay. Let's see. We're in a phase where we're we have gone from Homo sapien to Homo luminous. A lot of you remember that, okay, when it was 12, 12, 12, where we went from homo sapien to homo luminous. So you have to look within and be the captain of your own life. Be that captain of your own life. I was telling someone this story, and I, I think I posted it a few times on my blogs or pages or whatever, where I was on this airplane, and I was coming here to Chicago when I first moved here, and the pilot started up the airplane that I was on, and the plane cut off like three or four times. So I had the stewardess go tell the pilot, is there a problem? You know, is there something going on? If not, you know, I don't have a problem waiting. I would prefer to get off the plane and wait while you figure out the problem versus get up in the air and then there's a huge problem. Remember, beloved, in other words, you are the captain of your own life. So if you're depending on someone else to be the pilot of that ship, then I would say big woe to that, okay? You have to go within and know that your life is your own rites of passage, So if someone's telling you, oh, that doesn't exist, there's no such thing as no rites of passage unless you come my way, trust me, beloved, your own life experiences 
everything you've been through from the time that you're in your mother's womb all the way until now has been a rite of passage. But you have to define that. You have to boost that. You have to give yourself that evolutionary growth and that evolutionary knowing of that because you never know who's going to come behind you and want to follow in your footsteps. So you plant that seed. You be on that ascension of evolution within self, okay? Um, ascension is a rise in consciousness, okay? The individual is becoming more heart-centered. So right now a lot of us are, are acting from our own hearts, okay? Um I hear so many people right now talk about power and I'm going to get money and when the money comes, you know, just forget everything and everybody. But remember, it's coming out of your heart, beloved. So you have to remember if it's spiritual and if it's loving, and yes, the spirit and the universe can work with you. And if not, then you have to go within and be mindful of the things that you say, the things that you do, the way that you treat people, because you could actually block that from actually happening, Okay. So be compassionate, be creative. Right now is a time that we're not only remembering things that happened, but we're creating new things. We're creating new ideas, new books, new concepts, new methodologies. There's new colors coming out that the world has yet to see, okay? So you be the one to create a new color. You be the one to create a new song, a new sound, a new look, a new wave. You be that vibrational, harmonic vibration, okay? Um, on one of my shows, I talked about the 144,000, and that was a vibration, a tone, or a frequency. It's definitely a frequency that you have to be on, but there's more to that, okay? So you guys have to look within, and trust me and believe me when I say this. If you guys have met your twin flame, you guys have definitely, definitely been on that vibrational frequency, okay? So I look forward to a lot of those things coming out there for the twin flames, okay? So, um be more at peace with yourself, okay, and be aware of those that are spreading fear, okay, that I can't even begin to stress that enough. If someone's spreading fear, then what is coming out of you that you even have to look at that? Block that. Don't pay attention to that, okay? Um, you guys are so worthy of greatness, and I love you so much. I am Nubian Divine, but before I even end the show, I wanted to, um, you know, put on this clip of... It's called, um, it's a channel that came through from Archangel Michael. Okay, it's called the Process of Ascension. It's the split and dimensional frequencies, okay? Now, I haven't listened too much of this channel, but what I did do was I, con I did confirm with my spirit that it is okay to play this because I want you guys to really get it as to what's happening right now because it's time more than ever to pay attention, okay? So don't spend your energy so much with, where you're fighting other people and you're trying to be so busy to where you're hurting other people, but go within. You have to go within and then love yourself more than ever. If you love yourself more than ever and and the principle of you loving yourself will cause you to go within and you'll, you'll be able to fix those old habits, those old ways, those old principles, and it will cause you to continue to climb up the ladder, okay? If you find yourself descending, that's when there's that's negativity, back talk, backbiting, um, get away from people that's talking about other people, I mean, run from that, okay, because you don't have any time right now, beloved, to really mess around and to really play around. You have to love yourself more than ever. You have to know that you're worthy of greatness. Look for your gifts that you have within yourself because those gifts, it's time for full ascension. It's time for those gifts to, to raise up out of you, beloved, okay? So as I end the show, I want to play this before um, I end the show. And I love you guys so much. So remember to like me, Facebook Live Nubian News. Um, I'll definitely have more updates for you guys soon. I am in full ascension, as ascension is transition, so that you guys have not really seen the sites updated, but you guys will see them all updated as well as my blog talks. I have new songs coming out, and I'm so excited to share that with you guys because I love you guys so much, okay? So remember, there's no one on this planet greater than you, beloved. Nubian Divine, Nubian News with the Z. Hold on, let me play this, okay? Peace. The Process of Ascension and the Split in Dimensional Frequencies February 9, 2014 Dearest Michael, can you elaborate more on the ways in which this current process of ascension will be actualized in our reality, in this now moment on this current frequency? Presently Gaia is subdivided in various frequencies comprised of different vibrations representing the dimensions. On the one hand there is the old matrix 
representing the third dimension, but on the other hand there are a number of higher frequencies vibrating at the fourth, the fifth and even the sixth dimension. They all are present on Gaia in the now. That's the reason so many of you feel themselves increasingly living on different dimensions in a conscious way. In fact, all of you are multidimensional beings and you are experiencing and undergoing this feature progressively. The Earth has an exact duplicate of herself in a holographic substance, I am not referring to another world far away, rather I refer to a reflection of this Gaia, capable of maintaining the frequency of a 3D matrix. As Gaia herself is residing more and more in her higher frequency, all the ones of you capable of maintaining and embodying this higher light frequency will be torn away out of this old 3D matrix and will evolve alongside Gaia in her process of ascension, all being one. This will result in the fact that the 3D matrix will no longer be nurtured and will wither away and dissolve in this reality of Gaia. You are now fully busy with this process. We cannot simply let this 3D reality suddenly collapse in a day as it were. How would this serve the whole of humanity if the wish has been expressed to get preferably, if not everyone then at least as much souls as possible, aboard the ascension process? That's why we will proceed step by step and believe me when I, Michael, say that we are really close to a complete dissolution of this old 3D duality experience on Gaia. Give it the time it needs for the highest good of the collective. The old 3D matrix will continue to exist and evolve on the holographic Earth which is an exact duplicate, a twin of Gaia. It is there that those of you that are still stuck in duality will receive their opportunities to continue on evolving on their own pace without hindering or delaying the vibrations and the process of ascension on this reality of Gaia, where the higher frequencies are already existing and have taken over on an etheric level. The difference is that those of you who already completed their ascension process or are working on this now, will be confronted in lesser and lesser ways with the old dualistic frequencies of the third dimension because those frequencies can no longer be maintained in the higher vibrations, and so will inevitably wither away out of their reality. Gaia herself will go through the ascension process in its entirety and will thusly actualize a solar ascension. The exact duplicate of Gaia, which I will call Earth is a holographic reflection and a copy of Gaia, where duality can still exist. With this distinction that life can be continued in all mixed energies of the fourth dimension as well as in the higher and lower frequencies, those of you existing in a higher frequency, embodying more light, will dwell on Gaia and will also be able to exist on this holographic copy, so also on Earth, in the reality of the souls dwelling there, because those souls still create that themselves. That's the way they have always known it, and they continue to create this up to the point that they themselves reach the higher frequency levels. In a nutshell, there will be two exactly the same copies of the souls who will exist as well on the frequency of Gaia and also on the third dimensional Earth. The difference is that the consciousness of those involved in their process of ascension will reside solely in the embodiment of the fifth, the sixth or even on higher frequencies depending on their current degree of consciousness, but that their exact holographic copy on Earth will still exist there in a holographic substance to play its part. It is just that the consciousness and the spirit will no longer linger in that holographic embodiment aspect, and they will embody the higher aspects and the light body experiencing the fifth dimension in the higher frequencies. So you can see yourself existing in the lower holographic Earth all the while you yourself are not directly conscious of this. It is exactly the same as with this earthly incarnation in which you find yourself now. You have multidimensional and galactic aspects who exist simultaneously but of which you have no awareness or perhaps you are aware of them, but you cannot experience them yet in a conscious way. Why not? Because you do not yet embody them completely, and therefore your full consciousness doesn't dwell there yet. The moment that you form the complete embodiment of your higher consciousness, you will become them as well, and then all your lower aspects will lose their embodiment in consciousness. That's the moment when you no longer will experience them consciously. So basically there will be no split but rather a change in consciousness and this refers to Gaia and to every soul.
It can be interpreted as when the full consciousness is going to take on another form which can embody a higher frequency of light from which the old covering is split in holographic aspects, but where everything transforms simultaneously into a lighter form, including the human bodies. Gaia transcends her old embodiment and leaves the holographic exact copy behind, which is in fact the pure old 3D vibration, in its entirety of existence. One can always choose to again manifest their consciousness in this lower copy, this lower frequency of yourself and thus travel to and fro in time and dimension. I leave this choice open to all of you. Most cordially. Archangel Michael. Channeled by Melaine LaFont. LaFontMelaine.com. PleiadeDolphinInfos.blogspot.com.